Hello. Okay. So basically, I'm going to show you how I did number 41, which is the last year before you exit this, this building. Um, so what you're going to do here is to reorganize all of the numbers and letters um, in a way that the smallest one comes out first. And um, let's start with the numbers. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do here is to check if the second number is smaller than the, than the first one. So let's see. We assume that it is, right? So we first take the first number, large, put it in large, and then we get the second number, put it in small. And this is the, the assumption we have, that the second one is always going to be smaller than the very first one, right? And we subtract them, and we see that it's actually positive, so we don't need any jumping. So we then copy from the smaller, the smaller, uh, smaller tile and copy it to um, the very first tile, which is zero. So it makes more sense. You know, you start with a smaller tile, and then you go upwards. Um, and then we try to take, you know, we take this third tile, again, compare it only against the very first tile, and we see that, oh, yeah, it's actually um, positive, which means the, the very first tile is indeed the, uh, the largest of the three. Um, and then we need a space for our... Um, for our zero. So see, we have zero, and if we get zero, then it's gonna go up one more. We're gonna reserve a space for our very first tile, and we put zero um, here. So then we, that's why we need to bump it down again, which is the numbers that actually do count. Um, and we copy the very first tile we have and place it at the last um, number. Um, and the thing is, what we've accomplished so far is that we've managed to check um, every tile against the first tile, which is 80, right? So basically, 80 is actually the largest tile in the whole sequence. Um, and then we, we want to do the same sort of check for every number that comes after 80. So we have to do a check for 1, and we have to do a check for 0. But in this case, we only have like three tiles, so we only need to check once more. So that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so um, that's why we need to bump it down here, because we already know that this one is the largest, so we're going to check uh, for this one, right? Um, okay, so we put this one to the check tile, right? We assume that it's the largest among 0 and 1. Um, and um, so the reason that I have two tiles here um, for checking is that this tile indicates the number of rounds that we need to check. So we're checking this round, right? We're checking one against the other one. Um, and whereas this one then indicates the number of numbers in that round. So it's not very easy to see here what's the difference here. We can, we're, we're, we'll see the difference more clearly with the other larger sequences. In any case, um, so here we are trying to compare this to the one that's one lower than itself, um, which is why we bump it down. We take it here, take it, and we'll re we place it over here, and we do our routine check like we did in the beginning, except now we get it from zero and one. Um, and we subtract, we figure out that they're actually in the right order, right? It's positive, so we don't have to do anything. And then we see if there are 
um, if there's anything else in the sequence, if there is, you know, we have to check um, this one against all the possible ones in the in the left on the left. But we figure out that there's only one to be compared with, which is why we get a negative. If we get a negative, then we need to check if there are other more tiles to be checked. So uh, we go back to this one, which is the number of rounds we need checking. Um, but you know, you don't you don't really need need to compare with yourself. So this this is the end of the checking, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. And so now we know that it's actually in the right order. It goes from zero, one, two, um, and that's all we need. That's why we're taking twenty, and then oh, boxing it, and then we go and take um, sixty-eight. Again, outboxing it, and we take the final one, which is 80, and outboxing it. And we take another one, and uh, we've got zero, which means it's time to end the whole sequence, which is why I, I placed the zero down there, so that we know when to end. And now this is just to reset the whole uh, thing to zero. So I copy a zero from here and reset it to zero. And we start anew for the next sequence. Okay, so this one we're going to show more clearly how the checking actually works. So again, we do the same thing. We'll put it uh, in the first, we'll put the first one in the large tile, um, the second one in the small tile. Um, and again, we subtract them. And yeah, it's actually T is actually later than O, so we don't have to do anything, right? And we put it, we put O to the very first tile, and we bump it up. And then we take R. Um, I think R is actually also prior to T. Yeah, so T minus R is still positive, so that's fine. Uh, we put R back there. And we continue this time with S. Um, we compare T to S. T is still larger than S, so that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> And um, and then it's O again, so it's actually the same thing. Um, and T is still larger. Finally, we get the terminator, which is zero. Um, with zero, it's gonna just um, go to the very end. We're gonna leave a space for our T. Um, and then we have all everything up there. So now we've got everything we want and the correct sequence is R, sorry, O O R S T. That's what we want, right? And see what happens. So now now we say that um we have a to we have we have numbers up to four tile number four, but we don't need to check four anymore. We know that T is in the very end because we've already checked everything against T before that. So that's great. So now we just have to check uh, from, from, from O, right? And so we're going to put O in this large tile and see if it's actually that large. Um, and then before O, we have actually three letters, so we have to check it three times. We have to compare S to O, R to O, and O to O. So that's what this means. And then we do it. Um, we start with S, we do S to O, okay? So we put S and check if it's actually smaller than O, and it's not smaller than O, so. <laughs> So what we do is we have to swap the two, right? 
So this the actual the smaller one actually goes um, to where it belongs. So then we're going to get S here and O here. Let's see if it actually does that. So we put the large one. The O is the smaller one, so it belongs where S is, right? And um, and we want to put S where O is right here, which is why we um, we do this. But we first need to do sort of we have to. So now S is actually the larger one. That's why we put it here in large, and then we also put one here where O was. So now we actually have the right order here. Um, the same logic again. We're now checking. Um, this is a bit extra, I think, but it's just there to be safe. Um, everyone needs to go through that. So we check again if our swap actually was successful and see if actually now S is actually larger than O, which is great, okay? So now we can finally go and check, you know, three to one. So that's it. So we take R and we put it um, in the small tile and check if S is larger than R. It is, so we don't need to do anything. Finally, we check zero. We check if the zero tile is smaller than this three tile. So yeah, so yeah, this three here just indicates which tile we're checking against, right? So we have O and then S and O. That's great. S is indeed uh, larger than O. So that's it. And we hit negative, which means we've checked everything prior to tile three, and we can start to check the next number, which is two. We now want to check it check two times, right? Uh, check it against one and check it against zero. So that's sort of the logic behind that. So we've got O, we've got O, um, okay, and then we check one, right? Um, and then here we are, and we know that O actually belongs here when R belongs there. And we're going to do just that. We're going to compare the two. We find that it's negative, and we're going to do the whole swapping thing. We copy from large, take it to where we took R from, right, which is 1. Um, bump it up. This is where R actually belongs. So we take R, put it in the large swap, uh, large spot, take it over there, and we are done. But not completely done. It just looks done, but we actually still have to check one and zero. That's why I have such fat code, right? So yeah, so. Um, oh no, yeah, okay, so yeah, we've swapped them and then we still need to check. Okay, so that's it. Finally, we check zero against two. We find that um, it's actually in the right place. So we do that, we have negative, so we've checked everything for um, this um, column. And then I'm going to fast forward a little bit because it's in the right order and we know that. And so this just goes out as expected. Finally, we do this large um, laying <laughs> of stuff. And the reason I think that they give this thing after the, the already long one is because you'll see because everything that gets swapped is actually right next to it, I think. But with the numbers, you actually have to go, you know, you may have to swap one with eight and three with six and two and seven, and it gets very complicated and it's gonna mess up your checking mechanism. That's why they have such a long list for this part. Um, but uh, we are safe. <laughs> So, um, we start over again, 
And um, so what we do in the very first um, exercise is basically just go through everything and check which one is the largest, right? So that's kind of that's kind of neat. So we fast forward. Yeah, so you see this keeps changing to the largest, the actual largest one. And then 96 is going to come here. Okay, so yeah, we got zero. And finally, we take the largest. So yeah, again, the same logic. Um, we've got nine, sorry, 10 numbers. And the largest one is always going to be the one before zero because we already compared everything against the large one. And so what we do next is we just jo we're just trying to compare the rest of them with eight and then with seven and then with six and then with five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and again, this is the meaning of this. This is the number of rounds of checking that we need to do. And this is the number of numbers that is in each round of checking. So we're gonna have to punch it down. We start checking with eight and see if it's actually the largest apart from this one, right? And that's that's that. And then we check it from seven, right? We compare eight and seven. We take 41 down here. We swap it, um, sorry, we sub subtract it find out that they're actually that's actually in the right place and then we check six to eight right so we are checking so now yeah it's pretty clear we are checking six against eight right and we see it's negative so six actually belongs to eight and eight actually belongs to six so that's copy from large and bump it to seven um, and then put it to eight. Now this is where it gets tricky because you might confuse the two numbers and this is actually, this number actually means which one uh, we are checking against right now. So the largest one should go to this number and not this number, which is why I sort of got, I got trapped here, but anyway, the idea is that, you know, the largest one is just going to be in this number at this time. Okay, so we just keep doing that. Um, yeah, negative 10, which means 74 actually doesn't belong there, but 84 belongs here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put 74 to the location of 84, which is 5, right? 5 is here. And, okay, slow down a little bit. Let's go back. Yeah, five, we take it. And then um, 84 is the king. <laughs> and we put it in one in large, the other one in here. Yay, okay, so now 84 is actually the one, the largest one apart from 96 right now and I think my computer is not working oh fuck okay so oh okay so I hope that works okay <laughs> so yeah we've checked it against six we ch we've checked it against five and we do it again right this is a bit tedious um anyway let's just keep going and check the whole rush they, uh, it's going to go for a while, and um, yeah, so we've checked everything up to seven, we're checking this, seven against three, seven against two, seven against one, blah, 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 and then we check six. Um, and then we go to five. This takes a long time. Um, for
three, two, okay. Oh, hold on, too fast. No, 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 going back. So let's see if we actually have everything in the right order. So yeah, from the smallest to the largest, that's great. Hopefully you can just play it. Just put everything. Da 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 da. Happy, happy, happy. Finally. Uh we have zero and we're done. Um finally they gave us this one thing which doesn't require checking, which is why they put it there to test if our checking program works. Ha ha, and it didn't work at the first time, I have to admit, because you get zero. Uh, copy from 24, copy to this. You get negative one, you take it, and so that's it. And copy from this. That's the whole program. Okay, I hope I hope that's clear. And we have a super big program with a super slow thingy. But that's it. Okay, back. Continue. And that's it. Goodbye. Done. Done. Finish.